Hey, this is Becky from Southern Girl. I am going to try to do a DTF print with the Epson sublimation printer and see how this works out. And I'll let you all follow me step by step and we'll see if it works. So first I'm going to print off uh, the image that I'm going to be putting on this shirt. work, it might not, but you never know unless you try. Here is what the image looks like, and you can tell I smeared it with my thumb because it wasn't completely dry. I wonder if I can get that off just a little bit. So, step number one, wait till it dries. But this is the transfer film I used, it's DTF transfer film. And this is the DTF transfer adhesive that I've used. So we're going to put this down in here to cover it. Shake it up real good. If we can get it in here. This is the coating for the white color, where the DTF has a white print. I'll have to figure out how to do all this later. Get me an easier way to do it. We'll shake it up and coat it. Okay, there it is white coating on it. Then I'm going to put it in, since I don't have the oven, I'm going to lay it on the surface. Make sure it doesn't touch. And I'm going to let it sit there and heat for about 60 seconds. while we're waiting on this. Okay. Nope. Take it off of here. I'm going to cut this little edging off here where I got it smeared. So it won't be on the shirt. my shirt measurements out. Replace it where I want it. And then I don't have no tape at the moment. I hold it in place or I just use regular tape. And I went ahead and put a Teflon sheet between it because I didn't know if it would still bleed through like sublimation does or not. But we will find out just in case. I'm going to cut this little piece off right here where I uh, smeared the ink just in case. Heat press set to 380, and we're going to try it for about 60 seconds and see. 
see how it does. And I will pause the video while it's counting down. All right. Time to see what we've done. Okay, this is what it looks like before we take it off. It looks really, really bright. Yes, it is speaking just like it was HTV. Oh my goodness, I love it. And it works. So now you don't have to buy the DTF printing machine, which the ones I've looked at cost about $3,000 with everything. Just run it through your sublimation printer. Now we're going to wash it, see if the color fades, and I'll let you know. Thanks, guys.